So a false positive is when a tester, a tool, a scanner, something says there's a problem when there isn't. Uh, this can come up for a lot of reasons. Um, with scanning tools, oftentimes it'll say, oh, like with static testing. Static testing is reading through your code to look for vulnerabilities. And it'll say, oh, you aren't escaping um, bad you aren't escaping bad characters or bad data in this function. That is a vulnerability. But if you're escaping what gets fed into that function, then it's likely not going to be a vulnerability altogether. Uh, but the static tool doesn't know that. It doesn't understand how these different parts of your code connect together. It only sees the vulnerability in a vacuum. So that doesn't mean you have to fix it. That means it's still going to keep showing up in these static tools, but it's something that you can just say, no, we know we have a mitigation for this. So even a lot of static testing tools, like Sneak is a very popular one, and that's what we use. Uh, you can just flag a problem and say, we know this is fine. This is a false positive, and Sneak will just ignore it in future scans. Uh, so it's pretty common to see false positives pop up. Now, this can come in in a little bit of a complex situation in the post market since as you're identifying vulnerabilities, you have to do something about them. 